Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Tom here. I haven't made a video in about a week and that's mainly because I have been working on acquiring my first rental property in the area of where I live in Massachusetts, a little bit north of where I live or but right next to where I grew up. And it's gonna be my first ever rental property and it's a two bedroom condo and it cash flows a decent amount of money per month and it was an off market deal that got kind of handed to me through one of my wrestling coaches. So the, well, the offer did, you know, and I, that's just the power of networking and that just goes to show that you should always network and try to expand your business ventures. If, you didn't, if you're not in my free Facebook group, I did make a post on this and there was actually a pretty cool discussion afterwards and it could lead to some future videos down the road. But that being said, this video is on Zik Analytics. I've been making a Zik Analytics playlist if you haven't realized. Uh, there's only two videos so far, but this is gonna be the third one. This one's gonna be short and sweet and it's just on the Zik Chrome extension that they have called Zik Booster. Also, if you stay to the end of this video, I have two really cool announcements, one about Zik and one about what we're doing in uh, my Facebook group. And if you stay around until the end, you're going you're gonna to hear it. So basically, Zik Booster is the Chrome extension that is made by Zik Analytics. And it's pretty easy to get. It's free and it's very helpful for what it does. So basically, if you don't know how to get a Chrome extension or anything like that, or if you don't use Google Chrome, I highly, highly, highly suggest you do. Um, all you have to do is, I mean, open up a new tab and all you have to do is click the apps thing right here on the left hand side and then just click web store. Once you go to web store, all you have to do is search. So all you have to do is type in Zik booster. You get there, you download it. It's free. I already have it downloaded. It's right here. So it's very, very, very simple to set up. All you have to do is click it, say what country you're from or what you, I think it's the country you're drop shipping in, I would guess. So United States for me, Matt competition check. So there's two main functions of this. Um, app, it will check the competition for the items, and that's whether it's UPC competition or title competition. This is mainly only for Amazon items, and then it also checks for Vero. Vero is huge. A lot of people don't pay attention to it in the beginning, and they really just list whatever they want with whatever titles, and they don't give a shit. I did the same thing, and I noticed right in the beginning when I didn't pay attention and I didn't give a shit, I got banned. One day ban, not listing. You can't list. You can still sell. One day ban, three day ban, another a seven day ban, another three day ban, and then like a seven day ban. And I finally was like, holy shit, I should probably smarten up. I actually called eBay and they told me that if I get one more Vero violation within the next six months on my main account, then I wouldn't be able to list for uh, 30 days. And I know my business partner has also gotten a 30 day suspension. I know a lot of people have gotten 30 day suspensions, seven day suspensions, infinite, indefinite suspensions. So you really, really, really want to check Vero because that's the main reason why. So Vero check is on. So how does it work? It's literally the same thing. You go to Zik Analytics. You're in um, competitor research right now. I'm just going to type in this massive store that I'm sure everybody knows called Shopsy. Uh, it, it opened up a new tab, whatever. So we go to Shopsy. I mean, they have a massive store. They sell a shit ton of items. So I doubt that they're really going to um, get affected by me making a video of them. So anyways, you scroll through their items and any item that has this red exclamation point next to it is a Vero related item. Um, it could be Vero and it could not be Vero. There's some, there's, you know, there's some iffy ones that you, like it might be just a word that's throwing it off that makes it come up as Vero, but it's not. But in all honesty, I like to not take any risks from now on. And I have three to four different types of Vero checks that I do before I list my items and I'll, I'll make future videos on that. So I told my virtual assistants right away, any item that has a red exclamation point in the triangle thing right here, just don't even bother listing it. Don't even bother sourcing it. Don't put it in our spreadsheets. Don't do anything with it. Just move on. There's so many items out there. There is no need to try to just force items to work. That's what I try to always teach. You shouldn't be worrying about that one item that used to sell that doesn't sell anymore. You should list a thousand more fucking items and you should be fine. So, I mean, as you can tell here, they have a decent amount of Vero. It's not all, you're not always going to get caught. I know PetSafe comes up and I know Plano comes up. So, I mean, that's, that's some brand names. The JBL, that's, that's why that one's coming up. Um, I, I'm guessing Advion. I, I'm not sure about this one. Or um, Snap-on might be that. I, I mean, once you get familiar with the main brands and the name brands of, like, what's going to be on the Vera list and just U.S. brands in general, if you're not from the U.S. and you haven't seen these brands, it, it all starts to make sense and you just start to see them. But as you can tell, the majority aren't Vera. There is a decent amount at the beginning. But so when you're sourcing, you want to make sure that you don't list any of these Vero things or you can if you want. It's not my story. You can do whatever you want. Um, so also, what it also does do is the competition check, which is right here. So if you don't have this um, Chrome extension, you will not have the competitors thing right here. 
So if this is green, it usually means that it's going to have the same item matched with it. So then it'll show you competitors. But if it's red, then it can't tell competitors because it, you know, it's, it's not finding the item correctly. So what I say about competitors and what I tell my virtual assistants about competitors is I don't give a shit about the competitors. Um, I don't care about the number. I would just list the item anyways. A lot of people do care about the numbers. Like this one only has 17 competitors supposedly. And this one has 173. Obviously the item that's 10 times less competitive should be better in general. But also that item's a $5 item. I mean, you're not going to make much profit off of it. I don't care about competition because I know that my, the way I have my settings set up and the way I do my listings, I'm better than 90% of the competition out there to begin with. And that's all that really matters in this game. I have about 30% of my items do sell when I list them. And if you look at Shopsy over here, I mean, they have 13,000 out of 45,000. They're rocking a little bit less than 30% themselves. So they know what they're doing and they're a huge store and they only sell 30%. So if you don't know what you're doing, your numbers are probably in like the five to 10% and you really just want to focus more on like accurately listing your items and having the proper shipping policies and return policies and things like that more than how many com competitors are out there. Cause there could be 173 competitors, but 150 of them have no idea what the hell they're doing and their prices are way too high and their listing looks like shit and their templates awful. And then, you know, I mean, you're only really facing like 10 to 20 real competitors. So that being said, that's the Zik booster app. And that's basically the whole gist of this video. If you stayed this long, I want to let you know that I am going to put my affiliate link in this course. I mean, in this video at the bottom in the description, and I just got off the phone with Nahar, who's the owner and the runner of Zik Analytics. And he told me that if you message them at the bottom, I, I'm going to move myself. This little chat right here at the bottom right down here where it says seven right here for me. If you message them and say, hey, I use Tom, Ecom Tom's affiliate link. If you just message them and say that, then you will get $5 off your first month. And I believe they just started a seven-day free trial when it used to be just a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can sign up for a seven day free trial now, no money down. I'm not sure you have to put a credit card in or not. I really have no idea or uh, just some sort of payment or PayPal or whatever. But if you do sign up with my affiliate link, you will get $5 off your first month. So that's free money and you also get a free seven days. So that was our first announcement. The second big announcement is that I am in fact coming out with a course. I've already had a course, but I wanted to redo it and rebrand it. So we have about 10 members in the course right now, but we are looking to expand it and we are going to launch it sometime this week. It was supposed to be today, but there was some unforeseen editing that had to take place or has to take place that I will be doing today, tomorrow, and the next day. And I hope that it comes out either Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday this week. And the announcement will be in my course, I mean, in my free Facebook group. So I highly suggest joining it because you are gonna get a lot more information there. I do post there pretty regularly. And also, I will probably make a YouTube, another YouTube video about it and just follow up on the announcement. The course is called Dropshipping University, as my Facebook group does also say. So just keep, keep a lookout for that. It's going to be reasonably priced for the launch for a certain amount of people for the first 10, maybe 20 people that join. And then from there, the price will most likely go up in the future. So that being said, that's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to add it to my Zik playlist and I think I'm going to keep going on and on and on with more Zik videos and just little tidbits about Zik because I do think it's one of the most important tools to this business in general. It's the only tool I use for sourcing and yeah. So I hope you enjoy this video. Please subscribe. Please like, leave some comments, some questions, concerns, otherwise something just, you know, let's, let's have some, let's have some talking here. Let's start up some conversations. All right, so I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video.